Welcome to Canvas Projects, a virtual program offering from the Pflugerville Public Library. I'm Meg Miller, an adult services librarian, here with another fun project geared to ages 12 and up for you to complete. Those who registered through the library calendar can pick up their material supply kits, and for everyone else watching, we hope you give these techniques a try. This month's project is a portion of the being provided. So in our big envelope, because we've got a 9 by 12 canvas this month, um, they are all wrapped, they should all be wrapped in plastic. We included four of a smaller craft stick. And then you have the six paint pot um, set here with some neon colors and then a white. A little bit more liquidy than maybe you'd expect with some regular acrylics. Um, so this one's pretty straightforward. To start, of course, you're going to need to remove the plastic from your canvas so that we can pour our paint onto it. Uh, you can see that I have covered my work surface with just a bit of plastic tablecloth so that I don't get any paints um, on the table itself, although they should clean up uh, fairly well. Other than what's provided in the kit, you might, if you've got a um, like a toothpick or something around, you might decide you would use that later. Um, but really, the craft sticks should be all you need. All right, I'm just going to try and open all of my little paint pots because I will be using them kind of at the same time. So rather than having to open one, oh. A little bit of spillage, but that's all right. Uh, so with pouring paints, um, if you've ever done a project with them before, uh, you can do it a couple of different ways. Um, so doing like a clean pour where you do one color and then the next color and the next color is similar to what we're going to do with this project. A dirty pour would be you would get another kind of small um cup or something, you would pour all of the colors into it at the same time, and then you would pour that um, and then making your canvas move. Because we're really looking for a splatter effect. We don't really need to mix our colors together. Um, I am going to start using just one of my uh, craft sticks to get some paint on, almost like a little spoon. And I'm just going to make a few very small splatters of paint little puddles. I'm not worried about the um, paint dribbling or kind of splattering because honestly that's what our ultimate look is. So we are going to use that to our advantage. I love these projects where you kind of don't have to be careful. Um, I've got a little bit of paint on here. I'm just going to tap, give myself some black splatters across the canvas. All right, um, I did pick four of these specifically so that since there are six colors, you could kind of use um, the opposite sides. So I've got my white, I'm gonna do the same. These are gonna kind of be the base of my bigger splatters. All of the paints are pre-mixed pouring paint, uh, especially the neon colors. The white is the only one that might seem a little thicker. Uh, this is actually a mixture of pouring medium um, with some just regular white paint as well as some leftover white paint that we had that was uh, pour paint. Um, so I'm going to set my black and white one aside. Let's get in here with some of these fun colors. Uh, let's start with orange. I like this. So I'm just going to go right in the center of a couple of my little dribbles. Do the white one. Just dabbing, and then I'm going to move to, let's do that, and then just, I don't, I'm, I'm, you see I'm tapping to get some of my splatters. Um, I could use the momentum of shaking the stick, however you have to be considerate of the paint that might be coming off as you pull back. So. You might need to be wearing a protective shirt or apron if you think that you um, might be getting some on your clothes. 
Surprisingly, the blue is a little thicker than some of the other colors. So I'm really coming in, getting some of that blue on there. Let's go on this one. There we go. I can kind of brush that off. Or, oh, there's a good one. We'll shake. See, just the smallest drop on there just doesn't want to come off. There it goes. All right. Set that guy aside. All right. And my final two colors, this great neon green. That's a good liquid viscosity. Let's see. I'm going to actually come on top of one of these other colors. That was that. So the green and the blue there. Ooh, that's a fun splatter. All right. And my final color, the pink. Also a very kind of liquidy one. Let's get some. I did choose the neon colors for the splatter because as someone who was fairly young in the 80s, this was a color palette we saw very often. All right, so let's get some of this blue in here with the orange. And I don't want these puddles to be too large. Um, you saw in my example, some of my splatters don't really look like splatters. They almost look like tadpoles. Um, because the puddles I created were rather large. Well, this looks super cool, and I do love how it turned out. Um, for this video, we're, I'm trying to keep them a little bit smaller um, than I had before. A little dribble there. Did we already do pink? We did. Let's do a blue and pink right here. There we go. Oh, yep, definitely need something in that white dollop there. All right, I think almost all my puddles, my little half. Let's get a little bit of orange in that one, too. Just the smallest amount. Some pinks. There it is. And this is kind of a soothing part of this one. You can just slowly dab through. Let's put some green in that one too. Green. Very cool. All right, so once I've got my kind of larger splatters, I've also given some just solid color splatters I can use the craft stick too to just kind of splatter down. Oh, this blue one's got a lot still on it. Nice. Let's go a little reverse. I've got this blue splatter here. Let's add a little black on the in top of it. Maybe a little white to this one. And then black. Since I'm using craft sticks, I don't really have to worry about my colors mixing too much. As always with our supplies, you're going to have extra. If you've got um, something else you might want to pour some paint on, um, you should be able to pull from these little um, cups and get that dressed up. All right. I think this one might be a little too big, but the rest of them are kind of fun. So our fourth craft stick, which I haven't used to this point, I can use to pull through, look at that, just pull through my paints and really get those kind of colors mixed. Oh, that one was a little bit too much of the flat side kind of from where I was really trying. So I'm just going to pull a little tail out of these and I'm kind of all going in the same direction. I can come back the opposite direction. All right, this one right here, I'm not going to do anything to, just so you can see that now I can use gravity to give me those 
pouring the pour paint look to where it's really just kind of the colors start to mesh together. This is a fairly slow process for this. And as I keep turning, it's going to look and I'm going to, I am going to go ahead and turn it all directions. Even to this angle, I really like how this one is coming through right now. This one too. So I am going to use the other end because I can see where some of my colors are getting kind of pulled together. And I don't particularly want that. You could also build your dots in such a way that um, you've almost got like, get your colors going down. And if you find an area that you feel like needs some more splatter, we've got that. You should have more than enough paints. Some orange in there. Just gonna try a bit of a circular to get those colors and then now let's just hold it so we get some down movement a little bit to the side and my other splatters are also moving at the same time from the new ones oh let's use the clear end i can also clean off my little guy my little craft stick as i might want almost as if it's like a paintbrush. So again, I think that might have been my largest. Turned out pretty cool. I'm gonna come back across the like darker area and just give it a little splatter so that build on your, um, on your project. Do the first layer, get some movement, splatter, drips, all that fun stuff let it set for a minute come back give yourself some more got kind of this larger piece of puddle of white there oh i did put my craft sticks upside upside down so my paints got a little mixed up there very cool i really liked this one as kind of an experimental See what you what you like, what the look you like is, and really just go for it. So as always, we look forward to seeing your completed projects and hope you enjoyed this Canvas project video and look forward to next month. Thanks for watching.